Hey guys, it's Dee Dee, and guess what time it is? It is time for monthly favorites. So, uh, this is gonna be monthly beauty favorites, by the way. I don't know if this is gonna go up first or if I already have monthly beers up. I'm not sure. But um, monthly favorites have become, let's see, what is this, my second or third month doing these? I really enjoy doing favorites videos. It makes you really like take a look at your beauty collection and, and what you really, really have been loving. Oh, I forgot something. I'll get it in a minute. One thing that's not beauty that I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, so let's just get started. I, I try to go in order, but I'm not really gonna go in order because everything's kind of jumbled in one little basket. Um, but I'll start with um, foundation. I hauled this a little while ago, maybe a month ago, two months ago, I don't remember. This is the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. It's the foundation. And I'm in the shade 3.5, and I thought it was too light for me. Um, and it will be once I start getting more color uh, from being in the sun or whatever. Um, even though I wear some black, I still get a little bit of color. Uh, but this has been amazing uh, since the hot weather has started. I absolutely love this my favorite foundation up until i found this was um estee lauder double wear which is still my favorite but in the summertime it's just a bit too heavy i do like full coverage um but my skin is at a point where it's it's good at least to me i think it looks good um and i don't i never really needed full full coverage i just like the way full coverage foundations look it makes you you know gives you that flawless look this stuff's been amazing though. It's so lightweight. Like Estee Lauder, I feel like I you feel like you have lots of makeup on. This stuff doesn't feel like I have any face makeup on. So it's amazing. I love it. Um, I like how thin it is. I like it applies super easy. Um, I use it with a round top kabuki from Sedona Lace um, or the Expert Face Brush. I still haven't tried um, this little guy, the optical blurring brush it's just so little it's like hard to hold so I might just buy the big one because I've heard that's a really good brush if you guys know that optical blurring brush if you have any recommendations or any opinions on it or whatever just let me know I would appreciate it so Urban Decay Naked Foundation loving it um for my moisturizer um I I've been just wearing my Estee Lauder moisturizer that I normally wear during the day under makeup, but at night, I have been loving the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, um, and I have been mixing it with the Resist C15 Super Booster from Paula's Choice, so I'll put like two drops of this in with my foundation, or foundation, in with my moisturizer, and this has made a difference in my skin. I am telling you what, I have some... Um, on my cheeks, especially right here, I have a lot of sun damage, like those little sun spots. They have like completely faded. I've only been using this for a month. This stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. It's 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 a good price too for what it is because there's certainly some super expensive skincare out there. But I have been thoroughly impressed with Paula's Choice, um, especially this stuff right here. Guys, you have to try that. You have to try this stuff. This is the uh, skin per skin perfecting two percent BHA liquid with salicylic acid. This has completely like retexturized my skin, and I my nice beautiful skin. I attribute to this stuff right here. I use it morning and night. You can use it under makeup. This is always going to be a favorite every month. So, oh, I this stuff's amazing. So that is that in my moisturizer, my nighttime moisturizer anyway. Um, I think that's it as far as skincare. Yeah, that's it for skincare. Um, along with um, the Naked Skin, I have been using my, my Estee Lauder Double Matte Oil Control Press Powder. This I use in the summertime. Um, this is my touch-up powder. Uh, probably use it like once in the middle of the day just to, I blot with the oil blotting sheets and then I will just touch up with this powder. This stuff is amazing. I've used this since high school, so I've never used any other pressed powder for touch ups anyway, except this and uh, MAC, oh my gosh, 
MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I also use that one as a pressed powder, but they're the only two because they're both amazing. Love that. For oil control, that is the best oil control powder I've ever used. Ever, ever, ever. Um, my Another favorite, I shouldn't put this in favorites because this is a favorite every month. It's my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. I use this as a finishing powder, so when I have all my makeup on, blush, everything, I have everything on, I'll take like a duo fiber brush, which I don't have right here readily available, but I'll take a duo fiber or my big e.l.f. Um, Kabuki brush, and I'll just lightly dust this all over my face and then spray with um, setting spray. And this is just a nice finishing powder. That's exactly what it is. So it's, a, it's just a great finishing powder. Um, for bronzer, shocker, shocker, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I use this for my bronzer and for contouring. And I love it. This also is unfair to put in favorites because it's my favorite every month. Uh, let's see what else here. Let's go on to some cheeks. Yeah, let's do cheeks. Oh, wait, no, I missed a skincare item. Sorry. <laughs> this is the Paula's Choice Resist BHA 9 for Stubborn Imperfections. Looks like this. And what I do with this is when I have, you know, those pimples that just seem to linger and stay and just, you just cannot get rid of them. This stuff will get rid of them. So um, I had a couple this month that were quite annoying. So I used this for a few nights. And they were gone. So that stuff's amazing. I'm telling you, you have to check out the Paula's Choice products. They are fabulous. And the coolest thing is they have sample sizes uh, that you can get. And I think almost just about every product, uh, they have a sample size that you can get for, you know, 80 cents to $2, depending on what it is, so that you can try out the products first before you go uh, spend in a bunch of money on skincare and find it, just find out it doesn't work, whatever. So check it out, it's awesome. For cheeks this month, I have been back into my Instain Blush from The Balm. I have three of these and this is one of my favorite shades. This is Argyle, how cute is that packaging? And this is like a yellow based pink. It's just very nice, very soft, very summery, bright, it's pretty. So this is a swatch of Argyle. And this stuff, they are not kidding when they say it stains. This stuff hangs around like as long as the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. These are these are both awesome. But um this I have really worn a lot this month. I haven't really broken in. I had like a little three pack I got from Kohl's um over the holidays. And I've used them here and there, but I really have gone to town with this one this month. Another thing, which I hate to even show in a favorites video because I'm sure that you cannot get this anymore, a couple of these things, is um, the from the Alluring Aquatics Collection, the blush in See Me, Hear Me. This is what I'm wearing right now, and I have really been enjoying this blush. So that's it right there. And we'll just swatch it right next to the Instain. That's it right there. So I have, like I said, this is what I'm wearing now. And I I, I just, this, it's MAC. It's, it's gorgeous. It's MAC. I will say for a blush, for a MAC blush, this is super stiff in the pan. And you kind of like, I mean, I've made a good dent in this already. And I mean, I've worn it a lot this month, but not enough to wear down a dent like that. And it's just stiff in the pan. So you really have to kind of go to town with your brush to get the product to come off. So, but I have been loving it nonetheless. So gorgeous. Another, hold on, need to wipe. Because we're about to do this. Oh yeah. You know, momento. Okay. So that was cheeks. That's really all I wore this month for cheeks. Like I went back and forth with those two a whole lot this month and they, they got it done. Um, so for lips, oh, for lips, for lips, this is so fun. These, y'all know I love me some Emily Noel on the Beauty Broadcast Express or Emily Noel 83 is her other channel. She has two. Um, she was the one that got me to buy, this is a YouTube made me buy it kind of thing. This is the Sonia Kashuk Shine Luxe Sheer 
lip, I don't know if this is, just says lip color. I don't know if it's lipstick. I don't know, but this is in sheer pink lust. I got this at Target. Kind of pricey for, well, it's Sunny Cash Hook. It's a little more expensive. This does not have a whole, whole lot of color. If you can see it right there, it's got incredible shine. I love the color. The color is perfect for my lips. Um, they do have other ones that are way more pigmented. Like I have one in Melon that is super bright. It's not sheer at all. These are freaking amazing. Uh, these are like one of the best things I've ever put on my lips. Like they feel incredible. They hang around. It's like it's got this thickness to it, but it's not sticky. There's like no stickiness to it, but there's a cushiness. I don't, I'm having a hard time describing this, but it's, it's like a cushiony, balmy type feel. And it is just, oh, it's just gorgeous. So this is the pink one. Like I said, this one doesn't have a whole lot of color to it, but I love the sheer pink color of this. It's like kind of like the, my lips, but better kind of thing. Um, but like I said, there, there's another one I have in melon, melon, sheer melon or something like that. It is not sheer at all. It's like the color it comes off the color of like this bottle. It's crazy pigmented, but I have been loving, loving that. Um, this combination that I am wearing right now, I have been really loving this month. And this is the Milani, I think they're called Brilliant Shine lipstick, I think. I think it's these in the gold too. This is in number 26 nude creme, nude cream, nude, nude creme, I believe. And uh, like I said, I am wearing this right now. And it looks like that right there. Didn't mean to flip you off there. <laughs> and I have been wearing this. You guys are going to die. Sephora brand. And I have no clue. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what this is called. It's just their lip gloss. Okay, so I went when the craze over Buxom Celeste was going on. Well, maybe still going on. Was going on. I went to Sephora because I was like, oh, I'm going to have to check that out. I love Buxom glosses. I had seen Celeste before. It is absolutely beautiful. There's not a whole lot of color going on there. It looks, let me just tell you, I swatched Celeste and this right next to each other. These are 100% identical as far as the way they look. This does not have the tingle factor, does not have the mintiness. It has no flavor at all. So I'm fine with that. I don't need the, the tingle factor. I don't really care about that. This is identical, identical, 100%. If you don't believe me, go to Sephora and swatch it for yourself. This is the Sephora Gloss and Pink Kiss Reflex. Pink Kiss Reflex. And I am wearing this over the Milani lipstick. 100%, 100% identical to Buxom Celeste. 100%. Go to Sephora, swatch it for yourself. But it's it's identical from the microfine glitter in it, the glitters and shimmer, which give it that great, really pretty shine, like what you see here. But um, it, it's identical. And it's it's like, well, I think it's $14, I think these are. I got this on clearance at one of my Sephora, so I don't know if that means they're not going to sell it anymore. Um, this came out of the Sephora and JCPenney's, and I know that a lot of times they have stuff on clearance that regular Sephora's are not discontinuing, they're not getting rid of. But that Penny's Sephora will have on clearance. I don't know why, but they they still sell it like at full price. So I got this for like $650, $750, something like that. But yeah, it is stunning, stunning, stunning. If you are interested in Celeste, but you don't want to spend 20 bucks, spend 14. I mean, it's not that much better, but it is, you know, five bucks cheaper. Or you like the color of Celeste and the, sh the sparkles and everything, but you don't like the tingliness of Buxom glosses, go to Sephora. Check out the Sephora glosses. And they have more than just this that are dupes for Buxom glosses. Um, I know the girl at Sephora was telling me every time a Buxom gloss comes out, she likes, she just goes to the Sephora glosses and she can find a dupe for it. So that is a Pink Kiss Reflex. Been loving it. 
And the last lip thing I have been thoroughly enjoying that goes really well with this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. And this is also gorgeous. It's got, it's like that neon-y, pinky, orangey kind of shade that is super popular right now in the summertime. So I have been really, really loving that stuff for my lips. Um, let's go on to the eyes, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm going to get this glitter like everywhere. Okay. Four eyes, four eyes. I have been digging my eye looks this month and I haven't really used anything but these things. Um, the Wet n Wild, this is limited edition. I hope you guys can still find it. Um, I don't know if you can. Check your drugstores, check your Walgreens. This is uh, No Filter. This is from the Fergie Center Stage Collection, the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection, if I can get this sucker open. This is stunning. This is gorgeous. I have some of these on my eyes today. I used um, this one, this one, and I used the dark black just to darken my outer corner today. But um, these are, oh, God. this shade right here is stunning. That's it right there. How gorgeous. This is a nice coppery gold in the black. Look at that. It is so, so like pigmented. Look at that. Love these. I have three of these now and I love every single one. Love those. Okay, now I got to get all these swatches off. <laughs> Bear with me. Sorry, this is going to be another, another long favorites video. Shocker. Okay, so that I have been really, really enjoying. Oh, and I got some stuck to the lip gloss, so it's not going to come off. Okay. But I have been combining that Fergie palette with both of the eyeshadows I got from the Alluring Aquatics collection. I have Lorelei, which is gorgeous. Oh, I love this shade for the inner part. I'm actually wearing all these right now, and I'll show you when I'm done showing you all the shadows. Um, and then I have Fathoms Deep. So that's Lorelei. That's Fathoms Deep. And today, what did I just do? Oh, today I put, let's see if I can do this here. Okay, so I put this all over my lid from the lash line to the brow bone. Then I put this on the inner part of my eye, the inner half of my eye. And then I put fathoms deep towards the outer outer corner up into the crease. I actually blended out with this shade, which turned out really pretty. And then I just deepened the outer corner with that black in the middle. And I came up with that. I don't know how the light's going to wash it all out, but that's what it came out like. And I really, 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 really like it. Before, and most of the month, I was just using these two. And then taking like um, Wet n Wild Brulee just to blend it out just for an easy look. But I've been really, really enjoying those. For brows, I have gotten back into using my Urban Decay Brow Box. And I have the old version of it. This is the uh, shade Honey Pot. And that's what it looks like inside. And then it just has a clear wax um, down here. So that's it. And these... This and browsings, they get the job done for me. That's, I mean, I go, I, I go back and forth with my, with my brow products. But I had also been um, using, because I just got this not too long ago, the brow shaping uh, clear wax from Milani. So I would just run this through my brows and then take the powder and run it over when you know I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to really spend on my brows. This is a good quick fix. I also use this with no brow powder just to, um, I'll take a spoolie, brush my brows, put this over it and be done. That's it. If I'm not wearing makeup that day or whatever, this, this holds my brows really, really well, like really well. I like this and it's like five bucks. Works great. For polish this month, I have been really, really digging blues, and this is just one of them that I really enjoyed this month. 
This is from Julep, and this is one from uh, one of my boxes. This is the shade Monaco. If you guys have um, Pacific Blue from Sally Hansen, the Extreme Wear Pacific Blue, the original formula, not the crappy reformulated one that I've seen come out, this is pretty much the same as that. So that is gorgeous. Blue is so in everywhere right now I'm seeing for nails. I mean, and then the other one that I've really, really enjoyed, and I even wore these together, was uh, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear um, Coral Reef number 405. That's it. This is the original. If you guys don't know, Sally Hansen has reformulated their Extreme Wear polishes. Pacific Blue, this one, and then there's another one. The shades are different. So if you like these, go out and get, get the original versions because the new versions you'll notice so on the label one way you can tell if it's the original or the reformulated version is the x on the new version the x one of the lines in the x goes like way down it's like really slanted under here but this this is one of the original formulas so get these before they're gone because the new formula sucks i'll just say that i do not like it at all at all i tried the new pacific blue it's horrible it's terrible it's terrible it's terrible don't like it um and then my other favorite was a actually i don't have hold on i forgot it sorry about that guys <laughs> sorry about that it is actually a candle oh my goodness so unprepared for this video it is Bath and Body Works Market Peach. <laughs> it's actually burning back there, the little one. Okay, so there's a little story behind this. I am not a peach person. I am not a peach lover. I, I'm just not. These kind of scents don't do a thing for me. But I decided during the recent sale, the recent semi-annual, to get one to see what all the hype was about. And now I understand. So this was definitely a favorite. Mm, Market Peach. Oh, love it. If you guys don't know, the semi-annual is going on. If you want some of those candles, summer scents, they will be gone. So go out and get some. This is a good one. Smells much better burning, I got to say, than just on a cold sniff like that. So anyway, that is my June favorites. So if you guys want to share what you have been loving this month, I would love to know. I often get good ideas for new things to try from you guys in the comments section. So Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.